Hello everyone this is Priya here from Voice of Story Dum 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 biryani Can biryani and math go together Let's find out in today's story Basha and his sister Sainabi live in Hyderabad with their parents Basha loves food What he loves more is to cook food He helps his ummy in the kitchen every day He likes to watch her hands as they chop the brightly colored vegetables plum red tomatoes crispy green capsicums firm orange carrots fleshy pink onions Mmm Basha loves the tempting aromas that swirl around Ammi's kitchen as the dal the rice vegetables meat and spices change color on the stove he hopes that ammi will give him a chance to cook a dish on his own some day one day basha and sainabi came back from school to find ammi asleep with high fever baba is not yet back from his office ammi's mobile rings Basha sees that Ammi's best friend Saira auntie is calling and answers it quickly. He does not want to wake Ammi up. I am on my way back home from a wedding with a lot of friends, Saira auntie explains. She sounded exhausted. We will be passing by your home in about 2 hours time. Do you think we can have dinner at your place? There are 24 of us and four are vegetarian. Basha knows that Ammi would love to see them. He and Sainabi are very fond of Saira auntie too. You're most welcome auntie, Basha says. He feels excited as he hangs up the phone. This is his chance to cook a dish on his own. But will he be able to make it? He feels nervous. He opens the fridge, sees many of his favorite vegetables, cauliflower, peas, beans. He can also see a bunch of fresh mint leaves peeking out from under the carrots. Yes, he thinks to himself, I have everything I need to make a yummy vegetable dum biryani. Basha has watched Ami cook vegetable dum biryani many times. for their family of four but now he has to cook for 24 people that is six times the number of people ami usually cooks for that means thinks basha to himself feeling a little nervous i have to cook the biryani six times would he have enough time to do that as he starts to lay out six of each vessels he needs for cooking Sainabi appears at the kitchen door. What are you up to? she asks, frowning. When Basha explains to her what he is doing, she started to laugh loudly. "Buddu," she teased him, "you don't need to make the dish 6 times. You just have to make it once, but with 6 times the quantity of all the ingredients needed." Basha doesn't like to be teased by his smart little sister. Of course he doesn't have to make the biryani 6 times he could kick himself for his silly mistake I knew it all the time he says quickly I just wanted to see if you knew it of course you did bhaiya sainabi says soothingly but her eyes twinkled mischievously so tell me how much rice do we need for four people 1.5 cups then you will need 1.5 into 6 that is 9 cups of rice for 24 people sainabi replies instantly basha stares at her how does sainabi work out those numbers so quickly in her head that's right he says gruffly measuring out the rice into a big vessel now why don't you tell me how much we need of all the other ingredients too and i will tell you if you are right sure bhaiya say sainabi running to get a pencil and a paper she loves it when her brother involves her in something he is doing 
as basha tells her the list of ingredients needed for four people she calculates the quantity for 24 people 15 beans for four people calls out basha that means 15 into 6 90 green beans for 24 people says sainabi 3/4 cup of curd for four people that means 3/4 into 6 which is 4.5 cups of curd for 24 people says sainabi working it out on her paper quickly i hope we have that much curd in the fridge we do we do says basha next and then next finally they have measured out all the ingredients can you help me with the chopping too basha asks realizing that there are a lot of vegetables to be cut of course bhaiya grin sainabi Today is a lucky day. Basha first soaks the fine orange strands of saffron in milk and the rice in the water. He then joins Sainabi in chopping the vegetables. Then he turns on the stove and starts roasting the spices. Cinnamon, cloves, green cardamoms, black cardamoms and all the chopped vegetables in ghee. the familiar pleasant aroma of good food start to fill the house basha starts to gain confidence in himself he can't wait to get to his favorite part now layering and slow cooking the half cooked rice and spices and vegetables in a handi as basha sets up the handi and starts to slow cook it on the tawa the doorbell rings before he and sainabi can get to the door Ami has woken up and is greeting the guest with a surprised look on her face. Her surprise turned to worry as she realized they are here for dinner and she hasn't cooked anything. Then she realizes the pleasant smell around the house and follows it into the kitchen. Surprise! shouts Basha and Sainabi as they whip out the lid of the handi. Ami is stunned. Basha is a great cook Ami he has made biryani i helped him make it sainabi says excitedly basha smiles proudly at ami thinking that his little sister is in so bad after all ami hugs basha and sainabi mashallah she smiles i have two really fine kids i am so proud of you both Why don't you join Sara aunty and others ammi says Basha Sainabi and I will serve you all Sainabi nods eagerly maybe bhaiya will ask her to help him with more things from now on she couldn't stop smiling at the thought this is the best dum biryani we have ever had says Sara aunty and her friends i agree 100% says ammi licking her fingers basha and sainabi are all smiles now are you all ready to cook with basha and sainabi guess what basha and sainabi's ami sweetly agree to share her dum biryani recipe with us be sure there is an adult around you when you try it do check on the ingredients here and the recipe for a yummy delicious biryani Are you a food math whiz? Even if you're not old enough like Basha to make your own biryani, I'm sure you can help him calculate the quantity of various ingredients just like how Sainabi did. Here's a bunch of calculations that Basha needs help with. Do help him out and once you're done calculating, check on the answers in the next page. No cheating, okay? Hope you had fun with both the biryani making and the math in it. Do try them out at your homes with your mama or papa and let me know how it goes. Thank you. I'll see you with another story soon. Bye.